Often, athletes and disciplines combining two or more sports are faced with the preconception that they are not as good as the specialists. So let's take a closer look at what it actually means to be doing Nordic combined. Ski jumping is a quick twitch muscle sport for which you have to be light and powerful. Cross country skiing is an endurance sport for which you need strength and slow twitch muscle fibers. If you improve on one side, you usually take away from the other. A delicate balance to hit. Solutions are individual for each athlete and figuring it out can take years. This also leaves athletes in a quandary. How to train to have a very solid base of strength for the cross country races, but not to build up a lot of muscle mass, which equals weight. At the same time, they also need to work on picking up delicate technical skills needed for successful ski jumping. The answer, long, long hours of very diversified training. Nordic combined athletes train up to five hours a day. Over the summer, they spend about 100 hours in the gym rack up about 1,000 to 2,000 kilometers on the bike, 2 to 3,000 kilometers on roller skis, and take up to 400 ski jumps. Again, plans are individual to each athlete, but the training is roughly divided into 60% endurance training, 25% power and special skills training, and 15% on the jumping hill. Both ski jumping and cross-country skiing have very different mental challenges. In ski jumping, Athletes have to be able to beat the fear in sometimes very adverse conditions and deliver the best possible jump on point in the competition. At the same time, they need to be able to formulate a tactical game plan for a 10 kilometer pursuit race, know when to use groups to conserve energy, form alliances with teammates or other athletes to keep the pace up, and time the perfect finish line sprint against their opponents.